A once in a generation site for stargazers, Jupiter and Saturn aligning in the sky, something that hasn't happened for 400 years. Scientists say it'll be a spectacular sight and you can see it pretty clearly. Joining us to talk about this a bit, President and CEO of the Fleet Science Center, Steve Snyder. Steve, welcome. Thanks for having me. So it hasn't happened in 400 years. My understanding is, and even when it happened back then, most of the people on the planet probably weren't in an area where they could see it. That's right. This, the ideas of, of Jupiter and Saturn having these conjunctions are, you know, it's about every 20 years, but something this close is very, very rare. And so it was back in the 1600s when it was actually closer, but it just wouldn't have been visible. They would have been too close to the sun. And if you go back even further, uh, the last time it was visible, that was this close, you're talking back in the 1200s. So it's been a long, long time before we've had a moment to see this, uh, this really unique pairing of planets. And when we say that they're close, uh, I'm hearing this number of one-tenth of a degree apart. In terms of what we see visually in the sky, what are we talking about there? It's about a fifth of the size of a, of a full moon, or actually even smaller than that. If you, you go out, and, and last night I was out there looking at it, uh, you can see just the, the, this uh, beautiful uh, bright spot that's Jupiter and this dot that's right above it that's Saturn, so, so close together, you'd almost think they're going to join and merge together. So tonight they'll be even closer together than that. So it's going to be for the naked eye, you should be able to pick them both out, but almost like they're right next to each other. And then through binoculars or a telescope, oh, forget about it. It's just going to be spectacular. Is the, what happens tonight, it, will there be a certain time at which it reaches the apex of how close they are? Well, for us, the important thing is, is it's going to be visible right about when the time the sun goes down. It's about five o'clock and you'll have about two hours before they drop below the horizon. So you've got a two hour window. That's the one that matters if you're going to go and see this. Uh, and so that's really when you want to go out and, and look at it yourself. But there are also a number of virtual and digital telescopes around the world that are watching this. So you can also go online and track one of those down and, and see it uh, through a, a really large telescope as well. A lot of the buzz around this, I'm sure you've heard, is, uh, you know, is this the star of Bethlehem, the Christmas star? And this did happen, I've read, back in 7 BC, which would have been a fairly close time to the biblical times. Uh, and it happened three times that year. Um, but uh, does it look like a star or does it look like something else in the sky? Well, it'll look like a star. So when we look up at the night sky, you see what everything looks like a star and even planets pretty much look like stars, these bright dots of light. The difference is planets don't tend to shimmer and they tend to be brighter depending on the planet that it is. So, but Jupiter and Saturn in particular being the two largest planets tend to be, tend to be bright. Jupiter will be the brightest thing in the night sky uh, when it's up tonight. So it's gonna be the brightest star plus the little extra of, of Saturn being right next to it. Um, so yes, it'll be a, a really wonderful thing to see as long as you get out and do it. That's fantastic. All right, so we get out early this evening and we look to the Southwest, correct? Right, look to where the sun's set, and you'll just look straight up a little bit to the left where the sun is setting, and that's where you'll see it, the nice bright star that's, that you see there is Jupiter with Saturn right next to it. How close it'll be, how well you'll see it, that ton, but that's sort of the excitement of what we'll see when we see it tonight. And do you have just anything this incredible special? opportunity well, get, to, to do something we do in San Diego. I was about to ask you if you have anything special planned at the Fleet Science Center, but of course we're in COVID day, so you probably don't. That's right, but that's the beauty of, uh, of living here, right? We have such beautiful weather, we have such beautiful opportunity, walk outside, do this thing we don't do all the time and just look up. The night sky is an amazing thing and tonight it's even more spectacular. I've got your plan right there. I will just look up, I like it. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Uh, Steve Snyder is the President and CEO of the Fleet Science Center. Appreciate your insights into this big celestial event happening this evening.